Hello everybody and welcome to this last day of the Aiju World Cup speed skating in the Loa Arena in Tomsou Masuki, Poland. A few moments we will start with the first distance of today, the 1000 meter A group. So you already had all the B groups all, all for this, this, this morning. This is the program for today, the 1000 meter for the women. 500 meter, second 500 meter of this weekend for the men, followed by the 5000 meter for the men, and we end this World Cup with the mass start for the women. Well, you see, saw some great racing this morning in the B group, and it was uh, Dutch on top on the 1000 meter B group. Naomi Verkerk in first, Elisa Dillon second, and the Marit Flatters in third. Also the men, 500 meter B group was won by Yang Debo from the Netherlands, followed by Cooper McLeod from the USA and Martin Liv from Estonia. 5000 meter B group was also won by the Dutchman Masser Bosker, followed by Jordan Stolz in second and Jesse Spires in third. And the B final for the mass start for the women was won by the Chinese Biu Zhang. Followed by Aurora Grindelovas from Norway and Franz Vanut from Belgium in third. So we already saw some great racing this morning, but we now will continue with the A groups for the medals. We will surely start with the women 1000 meters. 10 pairs on the ice, total of 20 skaters will start this competition. You will see the World Cup standings at the moment, Jutta Leerdam. Followed by Mio Takagi and Kimi Goetz. Leerdam and also number 5, Atman Atarapa and the Young not starting today. As they are training in Calabo in the beautiful outside skating rink of Italy. Here's your standing list for the women, 1000 meters. Vanessa Herzog and Mia Kilbuk and Jalo from the USA will be starting in the first. Women 1000 meter race. You see the last five pairs. The top of the World Cup standings with Takagi in pair number eight. And number three of the current standings, Kim Gutsch from the USA in pair number nine. Skaters for the first pair getting ready. Vanessa Hertog and Mia Kilbuk Mancinello. They will start off this first race of 1000 meters, meters for the women. That's the start of the first thousand meters for the women. Start of Vanessa Herzog and Mia Gilbuk Manginello. This Vanessa Herzog in the inner lane takes the lead in this race. See what the first 200 meters are. She has a great start here. 500 meter specialist 
There's a 70.99 for her. Great start for her. She didn't skate last weekend in Stavanger, Norway. She did skate. Second 500 meter yesterday began 16 the second 500 meters. She will definitely have a very first, full, fast first full lap. She will go to the bell. This first 1000 meters for the women. 28.49, great lap from her. In the back it is Mia Klibuk Mangianella, 28.91. Vanessa crosses over. United Skates skater. Mia Klibuk Mangianella had a great race on the 3000 meter yesterday, won the B5 B division. Now it is Vanessa Harkwood. Gets tired as the 500 meter special league, and indeed it is. Mia Kilburg Mancinello who takes the win in his first women 1000 meter pair. 118.57. 1.4 seconds. Second lap slower than the first full lap. And women now 1 a one second to so do we'll with pair number two. Pearman in the inner lane, Alcatraz in the outer lane. <laughs> Start of this second thousand meter for the women, the second pair it is. Manager Pearman in that inner lane. It's getting a lot of B divisions. Best result, second place in the B Division World Cup number two this year on the 1000 meters. Now she can skate with A Division and compete for those medals. Fast start, fast start there from Helga Drost. In the outer lane, fifth in the B Division World Cup 3, 3000 meter, her best result yet. Now she's back in the A Group. Already passed on the exchange. Canadian skater, it is Helga Ross leading this second pair of 1000 meters for the women. It is 28.43 for Helga Trost. This Canadian skater with Canadian durability now trying to close that gap to Helga Trost from the Netherlands. To the last corner, they come. They go to the finish line. Let's see who won this race. Helgedor still leading and she managed to keep that lead. And also gets the fastest time with four hundredths of a second. 180.53 the time to beat. Helgedor is now in first. Nelson Peerman in fourth at the moment. from Korea, Aaron Jackson from the USA. Aaron Jackson, the winner of the second 500 meter yesterday. Great speed. She came second in the B group on the 1000 meter last weekend. 
in Stavanger. Now can complete and it's a whoop. There I see the down start from Eric Jackson. Goes off well and also an iron lead from Korea. It's like within the B division on the 500 meter on Friday. We'll definitely see a good start here from Aaron Jackson. Very fast on those first few meters. 18.1, very fast start from her. Now moves to the Korean on the exchange here. Already past the Korean before the next corner. Well then trying that last lap to keep that speed until the end. Twenty-seven point eight six. Beautiful lap here from Aaron Jackson. But also now in Lee, twenty-eight point five four. Third time for at the moment. Aaron Jackson now a bit out of those. Sits a bit higher on the way to that very difficult outside last corner on the thousand meters. Fights. Until the finish line, it is a 117.65. Aaron Jackson, time to beat now in first and in fifth. Now in Lee from Korea. Great first lap for Aaron Jackson, but the last lap is very difficult for the 500 meter specialist. That's what makes this distance such a beautiful distance. 1500 meter, 1000 meter specialists compete against. 500 meter specialists. And in the lane from the Netherlands, Alina Daronova from Kazakhstan in the outer lane. Femke Kok already won two medals this weekend, second and third on both 500 meters. Try to reclaim the third medal. Good start, Femke Kok also 500 meter specialist. A very great first lap. Try to keep that speed, just the same as Aaron Jackson for that last lap and also Alina Daronova, second in the B division, World Cup 1 on this distance. It's 19 last weekend in Stavanger, Norway, on the 1000 meters there, you see the 18.07 from Femke Kok, second in the medium time at the moment. Great technique from Fenke Kok. Let's see what first full lap is 27.59. A little slower than Erin Jackson, but has the fastest intermediate time. Let's see if she can keep her speed in that last lap. Alina Daranova now has to go to the difficult outside corner. Struggles a bit, Fenke Kok. Looks to keep her position pretty well here. To the last corner she comes on her way to the finish line. Let's see what the time will be. It is a 116.50. Fastest time at the moment. Great time for her from her. In the Ladoa Arena here in Tetezoy Mazowiecki from in Poland. It is 116.50. The time to beat from Femke Kok.
Elia Smedding in the inner lane from Great Britain. Yekaterina out of uh, from Kazakhstan in the outer lane. Elia Smedding skated the 500 and 1500 meter in the B group on Friday and Saturday. Nice starts in this A group 5000 meters for the women, the fifth pair. Great start of both women. So specialized on the 1,000 to 1,500 meters. We'll see as we see here. A little bit less fast of the first 200 meters. Now they'll try to go to their top speed and keep that speed until the end of the 1,000 meters. Eideva in the lane now, trying to close that gap to Elias Smeding as they go to the first intermediate full lap. This 28.1 for Elias Smeding, 28.47 Yakirita Eidova. But they are already more than one second behind on Femke Kok. Elias Smeding going to the inner lane, trying to close that gap. See what the times will be as we go to the finish. This fifth pair, a thousand meters for the women. It is a 117.51 for Elias Smeding. One second behind Femke Kok and in fourth place at the moment, 118.28 for Jekarita Eideva. Yeah, it was a great race there from Femke Kok, missed. The second World Cup in Beijing due to illness. Starts therefore early in the program. She has this program is made based on the World Cup standings. Yama from Japan, the inner lane, Min Sun Kim from Korea and the outer lane. Start of pair number six, thousand meters for the women. Yamada on the inner lane, fifth on the 500 meter in Stavanger last weekend. Won the B division in the first World Cup this season. Since then, skated in that A division. Great start from number 70.9 to Rio Yamada. Now, the way Min Sun Kim now will exchange to that inner lane. Trying to close the gap. Won the first 500 meter on Friday. Became second. In the 500 meter yesterday. Great speed from the Korean skater. Has closed that gap. You'll see a very fast intermediate times here. It is. 27.88 for Min Sun Kim from Korea. Third intermediate time at the moment. Let's go to their last exchange. Min Sun Kim, specialist on the 500 meter, won the World Cup standings last year on the 500 meter. Took like the Japanese skater. It's closing that gap. Very, oh, very difficult corner there. Very difficult inner corner. False. We see the finish here from Min Sun Kim from Korea, 117.60. One second behind Femke Kok, still leading. Luckily, Rio Jama gets up and can finish this race.
Not seeing a replay. What went wrong in that inner corner for Rio Yamada? Here we see it. Oh, it is. The tip of a blade going into the eyes. There she falls. Can turn just before hitting the boarding. Luckily, she can get on the skates back again and finish the race. So, track stewards will check the eyes for any holes. Maybe repair a few holes in the eyes, and then we will continue with pair number seven. Carolina Bozik and Ayano Sato. Cox still leading. 116.51. Time to beat. Spading in second. Kim in third. There, number seven, as we heard the crowd, well, Carolina Bozik was announced by the stadium announcer Ayano Sado in the outer lane. That's the start of his pair, number seven, thousand meters for the women. Carolina Bozik in the inner lane. Away the skater to 500 meters last two days and also the 500 meter. The fourth distance for this weekend. Now Dwayne Ayano Sato, her birthday actually today. Won the 1000 meter B group last year here in Poland. Now skating in this A group. Great atmosphere here. The Lodowa Arena in Poland for the Polish skater Karolina Bozik. First intermediate lap 28.25 for Karolina Bozik, 28.53 for Ayano Sato. Fifth and eighth intermediate time at the moment. This Polish skater will get a beautiful exchange here. Can go immediately behind the back of Ayano Sato. Karolina Bozik. Ninth of a thousand meter World Cup 2 in Beijing. Her best result yet. Let's see what she can do. Right now it is. I run 17.62 for Carolina Bosic. Fourth time at the moment. And 118.07 for Ayano Sato. Sixth place for her. Well, we still have six women left. We get to the top of the World Cup standings. And also a very, very great race here. Pietrino, Pro, and Miao Takagi. Both won already a lot in the World Cups, World Championships, and the Olympic Games. Nibo, 5th on the 1500 meter and 6th on 1000 meter last weekend in Stavanger. And of course, in the outer lane, Mio Tagagi, winner of the World Cup classification last year. On the 1500 meter this and last weekend. 2nd on the 1000 meter last weekend. And we head off for pair number 8 on the 1000 meter women. 
Brittany Bow, Yinale Mio Takagi in the outer line. You see the first intermediate, Brittany Bow takes the lead, 80.01, 80.09 for Mio Takagi. It is the Olympic champion Mio Takagi racing against number three from the 2022 Olympic Games, Brittany Bow. Mio Takagi closes the gap, takes the lead back in this race. Let's see what the first intermediate lap is. It is a 27.56 Mio Takagi. Great first intermediate lap from her. 27.96 from Brittany Bo. Fastest intermediate time for Mio Takagi. She goes onto the last exchange to the outer lane, the outside corner. La difficult last outside corner here for her. But she keeps the tempo, she keeps the rhythm. She will finish in a 115.28. What a gap to Femke Kok in second now. Or in third because Brittany Bow is second. This music Agi takes the lead. Great race for Mio Takagi. Number three from last year's World Championships. Also a great race from Brittany Bow now in second. Sam Cook in third. Is my hand from Japan and in the lane. Give me goods from the United States in the outer lane. My hand twice on the podium. World Cup number two, Beijing, the 1500 meter and the 3000 meter. And those are Kimmy Guts second. Only 1000 meters in Beijing, World Cup number two. So we have to start here in pair number nine. After this pair, one pair left. My Han and Kimmy Goods. And it is Kimmy Goods who takes the lead in this race. Opening 18.11. Seventh opening at the moment for the US skater. One in the 500 meter. World Cup one in Japan. Just aside the podium on the 500 and 1000 meter last weekend in Stavanger, Norway. She now manages already before the corner to get alongside the Chinese skater. Great first in medium lap here. 27.75 for Gimme Guts. Third in the media intermediate time at the moment. Maihan 28.08. Trying to close the gap to the US skater. My hand twice fourth on the 1500 meter last. Gantz, we now go to the finish. It is Kimmy Gertz still leading this race. As she finishes in a time of 116.25. Third time at the moment. It means that Cock now is in fourth. Takagi definitely has a medal now in first. We'll have to wait one more pair before she can celebrate that win
even the blonde air from Canada the inner lane and the Zada Marozova from Kazakhstan in the outer lane this last pair how is the meters for the women even the blonde air we'll see her back also it's last mass start this weekend seven just lane on 1500 meters now at the start of this last thousand meter for the women. Even able to land the Mazarova. And it is the second in the B division, 3000 meter on the Friday. It was actually fifth on the thousand meter last weekend in Stavanger as we have the openings 80.6 for both women. Not the fastest openings, but they are stayers and they. And also skate those 1500 meter and 3000 meter very fast. So now they'll try to pick up some speed and keep the speed throughout this 1000 meters to go to the first intermediate lap. This is this the Mazarova in the lead now 28.26, 1.2 seconds behind Mio Tagagi. Even the blonde end trying to close that gap to. Kazakhstan skater as she goes to the inner corner and just manages to close that gap leads this race on the way to the finish line it is 116.96 6th place for Ivani Blondin that means that Mio Takagi wins this 1000 meter for the women 170.59 8th place for Nadeza Mazarova Bau in second, Kimi Götz in third. Yep, gonna win in a thousand meters, followed by two Americans. And four of the fourthly, just outside the podium, Femke Kok from the Netherlands. To see the replay here from this last thousand meter race for the women, even the Blondin. Fighting. Till the finish line. But we'll see our back this afternoon during the mass start. You see the final results here. Mio Takagi wins his thousand meter. Brittany Bow in second. Kimi Guts in third. Kok in fourth. Mahan in fifth. Yvonne Blune ends in sixth. Our number 11 to 20. Leo Yamada luckily stood up after her fall. Here we see the World Cup standings. Jutta Leerdam not present here. Also, Antoinette de Jong. Right, my Jong, the means that Mio Takagi now leads for Kimi Guts. Get the in third, Brittany Bow in fourth, and Mayhan in fifth. We will then continue to the men 500 meter.
So without an ice reserve, we will continue with the second 500 meters for the men. Again, 10 pairs on the ice, total 20 skaters. So the first 500 meter yesterday, what by Tiju Kao from China. We'll see him back in pair number seven, the Olympic champion. See the World Cup standings number one, two, and three all from Japan. With it is Wataru Morishaga leads the World Cup standings in fourth. Lau de Breu and Johe Kim in fifth. Top ten all here in the Ludwa Arena, Tamazon, Moziviki, Poland. See some great racing. This is the starting list of the men 500 meter, the second 500 meter of this weekend. Sebastian Denise and Sang Hyuk Cho from Korea will be there in the first 500 meters. There it is. The Japanese skaters. All four skaters in the last three pairs. Together with Laurent de Vue and Johan Kim in the eighth and ninth pair. Skaters getting themselves ready for the first pair. The race held this morning for in the B group, Jenning de Bo, the youngster from the Netherlands, taking the win. Cooper McLeod from the United States in second, Martin Leaf from Estonia in third. Also were some great racing, but now we have the top 20 of the world at the moment. At the start, all competing for the medals. Sebastian Denise from the Netherlands in the inner lane. Sang Yok Cho from Korea in the outer lane. Sebastian Denise back in the A group after he won the B group yesterday. Ready. It will start of the first pair. 500 meters for the man. A very fast start here from Sebastian Denise. 9.81. Sang Yung Cho 9.96 also below the tents. Now accelerating even more on that exchange. Sang Yung Cho to the inside corner. Beautiful inside corner from him. He passes. Sebastian Denise, let's see what the times are. It is a 25.23 from San Cho from Korea. 
the leader at the moment. Let them 25.27. She set the bar for next skaters to come. Chang Yuk Jo from Korea, fourth on the 1000 meter B group. Manages to compete here in this A group 500 meters. We now go to the second pair. In LA, in the 35 year old Hein Otspeer from the Netherlands. Third on the 1000 meter on Friday. Best result on the 500 meter, a fourth position. First World Cup in Japan. The other day in Hyren and Du. Second in the B division, 500 meter yesterday. Oh, we have a false first start here. Not Spear gets the false start from start. our starter Bados Dobidowski from Poland. Ready. Oh, and that's unfortunate for Heinold Smear as she he moves again. Also causing that first false start. And here we see it also the second false start from Hein Onspeer. Disqualification for him. And also very unfortunate for the Chinese skater Hein Du. Now skate on his own. In his second pair, 500 meters for the man. Here he goes, Hanan Du from China, on his own. He gets cheered on by the crowd, 10.13. Not as fast as the two skaters in that first pair. That's due to his third start here. Has to get that focus once, even twice back for that start as he goes to that inner corner on his way to the finish line. It is a 35.834 Hanun Du. Third place for him at the moment. But it is very hard to Keep that focus up while starting for the third time. Had hoped for a better start in this A group. We now see the third pair. And it's 500 meter for the man. What a pair we have right here. It is Takuya Marimoto from Japan and Jordan Stoltz from the United States. Marimoto fifth on the 500 meter, first World Cup. Only skated 500 meters on international level this year. And in the outer lane, right. Jordan Stoltz, the world champion on the 500, 1000 and 1500 meters. Skated this morning the B group 5000 meter. Now it's present here on the 500 meters. Great start, great opening from Takuji Morimoto, 9.60. Very fast opening for him. Also Jonas Stolz, 9.71. Jonas Stolz gets up to speed. Beautiful corners from Jordan Stolz. 
beautiful inside corner there takes over the lead in this race as we'll see the finishing time it is a 34.97 for Jordan Stolz first place for him at the moment good race for from the youngster from the United States on the thousand meters this weekend fourth on the first 500 meter second on the 1500 meters we now continue to this fourth pair Jürgen Magnussen in the inner lane, Harvard Horven Lorentzen in the outer lane. Go to the start. The Norwegian skaters at the start in his fourth pair, 500 meters for the man. The start here from the youngster Björn Magnussen, 25 year old. Years old, best result, 10th in the 500 meter in the first World Cup in Japan. 9.8 for both Norwegian men. Of course, Lorenzen won the B division 500 meter World Cup 2 and was 10th in the 500 meter yesterday. Great corner here from Lorenzen on the difficult inner corner on this 500 meter. Takes over the lead in this race and finishes in the 20. In a 35.12 for Lawrence and 35.36 for Bjorn Magnussen, second and fifth at the moment. And then go to the fifth there. It's 500 meter for the man. Great technique with the first corner of Jörn Magnussen. Gredo from Spain and David Boza from Italy in the outer lane. Go to the start. Spanish skater won last year's Neo Senior World Cup 500 meter. Only 21 years old yet. Number 14, 500 meter yesterday. Let's start of this fifth pair. In the outer lane, David Boza, best result, fifth on the 1,000 meter during the first World Cup of this season. As we have a 9.84 for Nilly up Isucredo from Spain, fifth intermediate time. David Bozo, Bozo a fan point for him. Almost touching the eyes with his hand, the Spanish skater keeps the lead in this fifth pair as he finishes. 35.21, third time at the moment. 35.44, David Boza in eighth. David Boza, number five on the Sprint European Championships last year. Now is to settle on the eighth place at the moment. As we are halfway with this 500 meter for the man. 10 skaters left. The standings at the moment, Stolz in first, 34.95. That's the time to beat for this pair, number six.
Jana Botman from the Netherlands and you hear the crowd, Marek Kaniar from Poland. Jana Botman, best results. 500 meter was in seventh place during the first World Cup. Marek Kania, 24 year old, was ninth in the 500 meter yesterday. We have to start right here from the Dutch and Polish skater. The start is for Jana Botman, 9.79. Fast start from him and also 9.84 from Marek Kania as he gets cheered on by the crowd here in the Ledova Arena in Tomasoy Mazurkiga in Poland. Very close racing here as they go to the finish line. It is Jano Botman who takes this sixth pair of 35.23 fifth time at the moment for him. 35.30 for Marek Kania. We now continue to the eight best skaters in the World Cup qualification at the moment. Four great pairs we will see here on the ice. See the replay from Jana Botman. Close finish between him and Polish skater Marek Kania. Yuga from China, the inner lane the winner of yesterday's 500 meters. And Damian Zurek from Poland in the outer lane. Ting Yunga, the Olympic champion. Had a sabbatical of one year, but now is back on his favorite distance, the 500 meters. Damian Zurek, fifth on the 500 meter in the Beijing World Cup. But it is Ting Yun Gao 9.44. What an opening from him. Joël has a big lead over Damian Zurek from Poland. Ting Yun Gao looks so easy, but it is so hard as he goes to the last outer corner. A little hiccup there as he comes out of the corner. Tries to get to that finish line as. This very close finish, 34.79 for the Chinese skater, takes over the lead for the moment, 34.87 for Domian Zurek, very happy with his race, as he is in second position at the moment, two very fast times in this pair, number seven. Domian Zurek again seventh, on the 500 meter yesterday this race he hopes to end in those top three spots to receive that medal in the end of the competition as we see the very close finish here Tinju Gao has a, had a big lead early in the race but in the end it was Domian Zurek who almost closed that gap to the Chinese skater now continue with pair number eight Lauren Dubreu from Canada in the inner lane. Yuma Marukama from Japan in the outer lane. Dubreu, the winner, the World Cup classification for the last two seasons. Second on the 500 meter yesterday. As they are away, the pair number eight, Yuma Marakami. In the outer lane, second and third on 500 meter this year, but hasn't had a win yet. A lot of medals on his favorite distance to 500 meter. Fourth in last year's World Championship, the Japanese skater now going to the last inner corner. Trying to get past Dubreu. 
gets out of his lane but goes back immediately. De Bro with the very fast last 100 meters. It is a 34.73. Laren Dubreu takes over the lead in this race. 25.1. Great last lap. So Laren Dubreu now skated to beat for the next two pairs. It's to continue with pair number nine. Laurent Dubreu, the runner-up of the World Championships last year, behind Jordan Stoltz. Still looking for his first win this season. To now deal with pair number nine. Oh, and it's a false start for pair number nine. You know Kim, you need no lane, but it is a Japanese skater, Wataru Morijage from Japan that gets the first false start. Wataru Morijage in the outer lane. The leader of the World Cup classifications at the moment, one four five hundred meters this season. Third on the 500 meter yesterday. Go to the start. Ready. Now we're away with this pair, number nine, 500 meters for the man. Very high. Tempo there from the Korean skater Jun Ho Kim 9.63 Wataru Moshige 9.79 Seven intermediate time at the moment for him He now goes to that inner corner Still has to close that gap to the Korean skater now He has done that on his way to the finish line Can he beat Laurent Dubreau he can, it is, at 34.97 for Wataru Morishige. Sixth place at the moment for him, 35.28, you know Kim. She continued to defend and last pair. It's 500 meter for the man. It is Laurent Dubreu still leading. He will definitely take a medal home. But we'll have to see in this final race which medal it will be. Play of the Japanese and Korean skater going to that finish line. Tsuja Shihama in the inner lane, Yuda Yamamoto in the outer lane, numbers 3 and 6, the World Cup standings. Ready. Tsuja in the inner lane, won the first 500 meters on this season, hasn't won a 500 meter since then, but now is a great lead over his teammate, a 9.63 for Tsuja Shihama. Oh, difficult first corner there for him. 
He, cr he cried himself as he goes to that last outer corner. You die. Yamamoto. Now tries to close the gap, doesn't succeed. As Tatsuya Shinama still leading this race on his way to the finish line. It is a 34.94 fifth place for him. The thing is that Laurent Dubreuil wins his 500 meters. And also claims his first 500 meter gold medal this season. Mr. Faisa, world champion. And this also Domian Zurek takes home a medal. You see the replay here of that last pair. Yudai Yamamoto and Satsuya Shinama. Here the finish of Tatsuya Shinama. Wasn't fast enough, ended up no, on that fifth place. So we have the final results of this men 500 meter, the second 500 meter of this weekend. Lauren Dubro takes a win. From Canada, Jinjun Gao in second after winning first 500 meter. Domian Zurek from Poland in third. Yuma Marukami in fourth. Tatsuya Shinama in fifth. All skaters close together. Those men 500 meter. see places 11 to 20 with the disqualification for Hein Otterspeer after his second false start very unfortunately for the Dutchman so then continue to the World Cup standings men 500 meter Wataru Moshega is still leading but it is Laurent Dubois closing in on him after his win in the second 500 meter Yuma Murakami from Japan in third four Japanese skaters in the top 10 at the moment but we will resurface the ice and continue with the 5000 meters for the men after this ice resurface
So here we go after the prize ceremonies. Shortly start with the 5,000 meters for the man. We see the World Cup standings. David Jutto from Italy leading for Patrick Bruce in second. Tetja Blume in third. Numbers one and two will see each other in pair. And number seven will be an exciting race to watch. Tetja Blume and Sverre Luna Petersen in pair. And number eight. See here the starting list. First few players. Graham Fish and Yotsuka Tetsuya from Japan start this men five. Thousand meters. There we see the four last pairs. Patswings Yubu in pair number five. Miela Mafati, Halerik, Engelbraten in six. David Jotto and Petro Roots in seven. And Sverre Luna Pedersen and Tetjan Blume end this 5,000 meter for the man. 16 skaters that will compete for the first three spots. Of course, for the win. 5,000 meters. And this the first 5,000 meters in a long time because last weekend we skated the 10,000 meters. The only 10,000 meters that skated during the World Cups this season. Beautiful competition then between Petr Goost and David Giotto. Giotto who took the win. Petr Goost came very close but had a very fast start and paid the price in the last three laps when he collapsed and in the end didn't even end on the podium. We will now start with the first pair. 5,000 meters. Start of this first pair, 5,000 meters, game fish in the inner lane. Yusuke Chichaya from Japan in the outer lane. The start, 12, 12 and a half laps to go. First men, 5,000 meter pair. Let's see how the conditions are. This word earlier from the skaters. Early in the week, it was pretty hard ice, great ice to be skating on for those long distances. But in the racing weekend, a lot of skaters complain about the ice getting softer. Therefore, the conditions and the races are getting harder to complete. The start here from the Japanese and Canadian skater. First full lap 30.54. Lap time for Yusuke Chichaya from Japan. Game Fish 30.58. Both of them still close together. We see the easy start for this first 5,000 meter pair. Japanese skater 10th on the World Championships last year, 6th on the 10,000 meters. Game fish and it in 13 for last year's world champs. You see the 30.65 from Greyfish, a little faster there than the Japanese skater, 31.0 from him. Both still close together. Great to see them in this A division. 
31.0 for both skaters. Almost the exact same intermediate lap time. Nine, nine hundredths of a second between them for this intermediate time. So they both had the best results in the B division during the second World Cup in Beijing. Green Fish became fourth in that World Cup. Rizoka Chachia fifth. a very great pace here from Grey Fish now has the lead over Isoko Chachia from Japan still close together twenty six year old Canadian skater first A division this season against the 29 year old Japanese skater Yuzu Chichiyama now again back in the 30 lap times Rain Fish 31.3 3 tenths loses compared to the last full lap the Japanese skater we'll try to keep the lap times as consistent as possible as we go Beyond the halfway point, 2600 meters, six laps to go. 31.1 from Graham Fish accelerates a little bit. 31.3 for Rizoko Chichia. Two tenths slower lap time from him. Both skaters happy to compete in this A division. One point one for Ritoku Tuchia from Japan. Again, faster lap time from him. Thirty one point two six from Graham Fish. Has to try to keep up with the Japanese skater. Graham Fish, very great personal record for him. Six oh six point three two skated. On a very fast track, Salt Lake City. Ritoku Tuchia. Accelerates a little bit more. 30.90 below that 31 lap times. 31.48 for Graham Fish. This Japanese skater crosses over the Canadian. Now try to increase that gap. Still looks comfortable by the Japanese skater. To go. To the last three laps, 30.79, one cent faster compared to the last lap, 32.21, Graham Fish. Slows every lap a little bit more. Getting very difficult for him. The Japanese skater trying to keep as comfortable as possible. Select date. He's getting into his legs, 30.81, still a great lap from the Japanese skater and also Graham Frisch accelerating to the 31s, 0.8, no 32s once again. Can he hold up those lap times until the end of this race as we will go to the bell for the last lap in his first pair, 5,000 meters. Bell for the Japanese skater 30.99 still below the 31s. Graham Fish keep those lap times below the 32 seconds to set the time for the upcoming skaters. the finish here for the Japanese it is a 6 31.71 for Izuku Tachiya takes the lead 6.36.25 for Graham Fish from Canada in second first two times set at the moment will then continue to the second pair
obviously the replay for this first race. 5,000 meters for the man. In the lane, the Japanese skater Riku Tsuchiya. The outer lane is for the Dutchman Marvin Talsma. Here we see the Dutch starter Marco Hesselink. Start of this second pair. 5,000 meters for the man. Again, 12 and a half laps. See the fastest start here from the Japanese skater Riku Tsuchiya. He opens with the 19.28. We'll have to see who can keep up the fast laps the longest. Riku Tsuchiya, 16th at the World Championship in the 5000 meter last year. Also skated the 1500 meter this weekend. Again, 10th on that distance. In the back we see Marvin Talsma. 30.0 for Vigo Tsutsia. 30.6 for Marvin Talsma. Fast first full lap for the Japanese skater. Now it is Marvin Talsma. Who can profit from the slipstream of the Japanese skater. Marvin Talsma became third. On the 5,000 meter B division in World Cup number two is best result yet. Manages to win 10,000 meter last weekend in the B division. As you see, 30.7 lap times for both Japanese and Dutch skater. This Japanese skater gets some information from his coach on the exchange. Fortune on the meters. Japanese skater still leading the race. Riku Chuchia first 31 lap. Marmitelsma stays in those 30.7 lap times. Difficult exchange here. Oh and it is the Japanese skater who did help to wait a little bit. It looked like it but the referee will of course take a look at that. It's the outer lane, Hess. Preference over the inner lane. To move to that inner lane on the exchange. We'll see a 31.0 for Riku Tsuchiya. 31.1 for Marin Talsma. Both are faster in the intermediate times than our leader at the moment. Japanese Rizuka Chachia from last race. We have to see what the referee will think of that action on the exchange. So moving to the halfway point, Marvin Talsma accelerating 30.7 back again at the lap times he had before that incident. The good Tsuchiya from Japan trying to keep his lead over Marvin Talsma. Six left to go. Lead is getting bigger. 1.5 second lead for Riku Tsuchiya on his teammate, current leader.
31.0 for Marin Talsma, 31.2 for Riku Tsuchiya from Japan. Marin Talsma trying to accelerate here. Japanese skater still looking comfortable on this second 5,000 meter pair for the man. Great race here, Marin Talsma, 31.0 once again. It's now the lead. Gets back a little bit. One second for both skaters. Marin Talsma gets here done by his coach to accelerate even further. And now we see it is Marin Talsma taking over the lead from Rika Tsuchiya. We have three laps to go in the second 5,000 meters for the man. 30.7, three tenths acceleration there from Marvin Talsma. 31.2 for Riku Tsuchiya from Japan. Can he accelerate with Marvin Talsma? Keep up with him. Another acceleration here from Marin Talsma, 30.4, 1.5 second lead on our current leader. 31.2, Riku Tsuchiya still holding his lap times consistent. But it is Marin Talsma leading this race, going to the bell, the bell for the last lap. In this second pair, 5,000 meters for the man. 30.37, even faster for Marin Talsma. 2.1 second lead, and it is Riku Tsuchiya, 31.54. Now the third in the medium time for him. Marin Talsma giving it all to the last corner on his way to the finishing line. As he finishes here in 628.75. Great race for Marvin Talsma. The three second lead over Japanese Rizuku Tsuchiya. And it is Riku Tsuchiya from Japan in third. Both brothers now in second and third. With Marvin Talsma from the Netherlands leading. As we will continue with pair number three. Norwegian skaters at start in his third 5,000 meter race for the men. Sigurd Henriksen and Christian Gamma Elikip. Start of his third pair. It is the young Norwegian skater, 19 year old Sigurd Henriksen. In the line, taking the lead over his teammate Christian Kamme Aglev. We have to see what their lap types will be in the upcoming few laps. Sigurd Henriksen, best results also 13th place to 5000 meters. In the Beijing World Cup number two. To see 
very fast full lap 29.48 Secret Henriksen goes in very hard 19 years old great technique from the youngster from Norwegian sixth uh, on last week's 10,000 meter World Cup number three in the B division now again another 29.8 2.2 seconds lead over Marvin Talsma and also his teammate Christian Gamma Eglev 30.9 the same point as Marvin Talsma for the moment it is a very fast start for this 19 year old Christian Kama Eglev third on the 1500 meters B division this Friday and also skated the 10,000 meters in the B division became 12th to see the big lead for Secret Henriksen. Thirty point two, still great laps from Secret Henriksen. Can he keep this up? He has still eight laps to go. In this third pair, five thousand meters for the man, Christian Gamma Alekov. Now the fourth intermediate time for him. Still consistent laps. And that's what's very important for this 5,000 meter 12 and a half laps. Here in the Lodewa Arena. 30.4 for Secret Heinersen. Again, two tenth slower than last lap. But still great lap times from him. Still moving very comfortable on the ice. Thirty point five one Secret Hengerson, six laps to go. He gets some cheers from his coach. Also Christian Gamma Aglo thirty point nine back in those lap times below the thirty ones. Both Norwegian skaters fifty meters apart from each other to go to the last five laps. 30.7 Lap time is going up but not so fast so that's a good thing We'll see the 30.7 Acceleration from Christian Gamma Eglif Thirty point six, even going faster, one tenth faster than last lap. Five seconds over Marvin Talsma for now. Can he keep this up until the end of this race? Thirty one point zero for Christian Gamma Eglev. Around that time of Marvin Talsma for him. But we saw those faster last laps from Marvin Talsma. Very fast last three laps actually. So those will be coming right now. Can Secret Henderson keep up? 31.0 Secret Hangers in the first 31 lap time. And we'll have to see now if he can hold those lap times. 31.2 for Christian Gamma Eglev from Norway. And now those times from Marvin Talsma came. The low 30 lap times. Counting down the laps. Oh, and this is a 31.7. Seven tenths lost in that lap. Only 3.6 seconds left. Can he hold this? 31.6 for Christian Gamma Eglev. Fourth intermediate time at the moment for him. The 
we developed over the last lap for Sigurd Henriksen, 32.1 and now it goes very fast that lead that he has, 1.8 seconds left, 32.2, can he hold this against Marvin Talsman let's see, 31.5 for Christian Gamma Eigleff from Norway this intermediate time at the moment for him as he also tries to gain some speed to the last corner it is Sigurd Henriksen, the 19 year old skater from Norway Finishes here in the time of 6.29.08 and just is slower than Marin Talsma from the Netherlands. 33 hundredths of a second with a final lap of 32.7. Those last three laps of Marin Talsma are very great laps from him. And there's Sigurd Henderson now in second. Christian Gamma Agluf. Ending in the fourth position at the moment. As we then continue to the fourth pair. This 5,000 meters for the man. Casey Dawson in the inner lane. Sataro Ichinoe in the outer lane. It's fourth pair. 5,000 meters for the man. It's the start of this fourth. 5,000 meters for the man. Casey does and Sataro Ichinoe, the number 9 and 12 of the World Cup standings at the moment. It is Sataro Ichinoe who takes the lead in this race. We'll see what his lap times will be. Sataro won the B division 1,500 meters this weekend. Kane eighth in the men B division, 10,000 meter last weekend in Stavanger. Still looking for his best as he became sixth during the World Championships last year. In this 5,000 meters. Let's see if maybe today. Could be his way back to the top. Leading before Casey Dawson from the United States. 23 year old skater. Gained eighth in the B division, 1500 meters for the man this weekend. And also skated the 10,000 meter last weekend, where he became 10th. In the A division. Let's see what he can do. If he can, man can close the gap to the Japanese skater, but it is Setaro Ichinoa still leading this race. 30.92. Seventh in the median time at the moment. Still tries to not lose too much in those first few laps. Maybe accelerate in those last few laps. Just as Marvin Talsma, our leader, currently did. 31.4 Sataro Ichinoe. But we also saw a different tactic from Sigurd Henriksen trying to. Keep a fast pace early in the race and keep the lap times as consistent as possible. Especially in those last few laps when your legs 
really hurt. 31.0, Setaro Ichinoe. 1.3 seconds behind our leader, Marvin Telsma. 30.9, Casey Dawson back below those 31 lap times. It's key of these 5,000 meters. Keeping comfortable. Of feeling the burning legs. Trying to keep as smooth as possible. You see the 31.0 and 31.1 for both skaters. Six laps to go. In this fourth pair, 5,000 meters. No, uh, 30.6 increase in speed for him. He goes below the one second behind the Mar Mar Marin Talsma. Already skated a few 5,000 meters in the A division this year. Best result in eighth position. In the first World Cup this season, Obiharo, Japan. Satara Ichinoa, 30.0. Great increase in speed here. Four tenths faster than the intermediate time of Marin Talsma. The leader at the moment, 31.4, Casey Dawson. Can't keep up with the Japanese skater as we see right here. Japanese skater, a lead of around 15 meters to Casey Dawson. Satara Ichinoe, 30.1. Still holding those very fast few laps. Uses the same tactic as Marvin Talsma. Keeping the lap times consistent but a little bit slower in the beginning. But in the end, trying to increase the pace. Again, a few very fast laps in, in those last. And this fourth 5,000 meter race for the man. 30.25, two laps ago. Can he hold this up? Almost a second faster than Marvin Talsma. Casey Dawson, 32.45. Seven seconds behind Marvin Talsma. Can he also increase his speed a little bit more? Let's see. Japanese skater, two hands loose. She tries to gain even more speed, 30.75. Five tens left. Can he keep this up? It is a close battle here between Marin Talsma, a leader at the moment. Looks to the right to his lap time. That is coach is showing 32.98 for Casey Dawson. But we are looking here to the Japanese skater. Can he fight off the time of Marin Talsma? The time to beat 628.75 of Marin Talsma. Can he do it? It is a 6.28.81, six hundredths of a second behind Marvin Talsma. A very close battle here for the number one sport at the moment. And it is Casey Dawson in eighth place at the moment. Well, 641.30. Then continue to the fifth 5,000 meter pair. Swings in the inner lane, Yu Wu in the outer lane, a Belgium and Chinese skater. Go to the start. 
battling for that leading position. Time to beat six. 28.75 of Marvin Talsma. Ooh, and a false start. This 5,000 meters. Don't see that often. False start. So start isn't as important on those shorter distances. But it is the Belgium skater who gets its first false start. That's the start of this fifth pair. 5,000 meters for the man. Six start, we are already. Bart swings in the inner lane. Ju Wu from China in the outer lane. Great race to be expected here. Bart swings number seven in the World Cup standings. Ju Wu the number 10. Fast starts at the moment. One faster starts compared to Marin Talsma, race leader still. Bart swings. Third in the World Championship last year on this distance. 32-year-old Belgium skater. Came fifth on 10,000 meter last weekend in Stavanger. Didn't have a medal yet this season. A very great race from him on the last year's World Championships 5,000 meters. Yet to let Petr Kroost get the title. Second place was for Davide Dietto. Two of them we'll see later. Pair number seven to see first lap them 30.23 for Bach swings, 30.7 for Ju Wu. 26 year old Chinese skater third in the B division on the 10,000 meters in Stavanger last weekend skated in a lot of B divisions he manages in the second workout of this year in Beijing and we see 11th place on the 5,000 meters lap time still consistent Bart Swing leading this race. Great technique. Technique from the Belgian skater. 30.5. Same lap as last lap. Two seconds lead over Marin Talsma. Yu Wu 30.97. Also faster at the moment than Marin Talsma. Still very close. So we haven't even reached the halfway point on this fifth 5,000 meters for the man. Thirty-point six for Bart swings. All right, same lap times as Marvin Talsma at this moment. We are halfway. It's just 5,000 meter. Still very consistent. Bart swings. You will. 30.8. Increasing a little bit his speed around the same times as Marvin Talsma had. Five laps to go, Bart Springs. Great lead still from over Marin Talsma. Mark swings 
also great in roller skating in the summer completed at multiple world championships world championships trains together with the Dutch team team eco 30.8 three second lead over Marit Alsma also Jiwoo now increasing his speed 30.6 faster left time for him can he close that gap to Bart Swings thumbs up from his coach as we go towards the end the end of this fifth pair 5000 meters for the man last three laps and these last three laps Marmar Talsma was increasing his pace as we see now the lead is getting back to Marmar Talsma 2.7 seconds lead over Marmar Talsma by Bart Swings but still great lap times 31.0 for Bart Swings and also the Chinese skating closing that gap little by little but is he too late or can he do that great technique for both skaters 31.1 and a 30.88 for Ju Wu only 1.1 second between the skaters but the lead over Marvin Talsma is decreasing Twenty-six-year-old Jubu trying everything he can to close that gap. But swings. Here's the bell. The bell for the last lap. Thirty-one point oh, one point seven, one point two seven lead. Jubu thirty point seven five now crosses over. But swings. A very exciting last lap here in this fifth pair. But swings trying to pick some more speed in the last corner. But it is Jubu. Who gives it everything to beat Bart Swings? Who will win this race? A very exciting last 100 meters. It is in the end. Bart Swings will win this race. 627.75 fastest time at the moment. Jubu, two hundredths of a second behind him. 627.77 for him. Great last lap from Jubu below the 30 second lap time. Great race from 26 year old Chinese skater. So we now have Swings in first, Wu in second, and Talsma in third. Great lap times from Ju Wu. 30.5, 30.8, 30.7 and 29.9 those last four laps of him and also Bud Swings manages to keep his speed until the end as we see the photo finish right here it is those two hundredths of a second between them so continue with pair number six Number six on the ice, inner lane, Michele Malfatti from Italy. In the outer lane, Helge Engelbrette from Norway. Ready. That's the start of this sixth 5,000 meters for the man. Again, we see the very fast start from 20 year old Norwegian skater Halga Engebraten. Takes the lead early in this race, 90.4 run for him. Michele Malfatti from Italy. 28 year old Italian. Malfatti, the surprise of last weekend, we could say, for winning the bronze medal. 10,000 meters. Last weekend in Stavanger, Norway. C 
Ducati do very fast few lap times 29.5 even from the Norwegian skater Halega Engelbrata and also lap time below the 30 seconds for the Italian skater Alfati just missed out on that medal during last year's world championships he came fourth on the 5000 meters it looks even stronger this year she has a second 29er lap Shella Mafalti Engelbrad the best result this year 6th place on the 5000 meter during second world cup in Beijing Thirty point oh for him her consistent lap Mafalti now 30.5 lap time for him can he increase his pace a little bit, keeping up with the Norwegian skater? Thirty point oh for Mafati, thirty point two for Engebraten. Both still close together. Lap times in the below in the low thirties. But we're not even halfway, so still to see how those last laps will unfold. Again low thirties for both skaters. 1.7 second lead for Halleke Engebraten. The leader at the moment, Bart Sphinx. It's time to beat 627.75. The 322.14, that was the time of Bart Swings, and they are both faster than that Halleke Engelbrata almost two seconds faster even and again very consistent laps in the low 30s great race already from both skaters Italian skater increasing his tempo the last few steps out of the corner a very great race here from the 23 year old Norwegian skater 30.4 again increasing his lead even more but also the Italian still keeping up with him losing a few tenths of a second each lap but still manages to keep a reaching distance as you go to the last four laps 30.4 again, Malfati 30.7. Will this exchange be very close? Let's see. No, it is Alga Engelbraten. Crosses over Malfati. The music gets turned up for those last three laps. 30.5 again a very great lap here from Helga Engelbart and great race from the Norwegian last few laps of bar swings 31.1 31.0 and 30.8 if Engelbart keeps it up it's gonna be a very good time from him a very hard time for the remaining skaters to beat Five twenty-two point oh two, almost four seconds lead over Bart Swings again. A thirty point five for Engebraten, thirty-one point five for Malfati. Also faster than Bart Swings at the moment. If we go towards the bell, and we see an increase in speed from Alga Engebraten. Isn't tired yet. What a race, 30.7. Can he hold 
those lap times below the 31s it would be very very great job from him Michelle Malfatti 31.6 for him he needs to keep those lap times consistent now to move to that second spot before Bart swings but to see here the finish for a very a very great race from the Norwegian skater the Halliga Engebraten 6 23.84 4 seconds faster than Bart swings Michele Malfatti from Italy just misses out on that second spot Bart swings stays in second Malfatti in third at the moment we still have four skaters left two pairs what a pair we'll see now at the start it is number one and two for the current World Cup classification. Davide Gieto in the inner lane and in the outer lane, Patrick Roost. in the inner lane, Roost in the outer lane. Go to the start. We'll have a great race ahead. Ready. That's the start, pair number seven. Roost and Giotto. Giotto. Setting his glasses correct as he moves to the first 200 meters, 90.1 and 80.97. Giotto and Roost, fastest time at the moment. Will they go in full or will they wait for the attack of each other? Let's see how this race is gonna unfold. Giotto, second at the World Championship last year in Herafeen, the Netherlands. Had to let Roost take the world championships both still very close was second at the Olympic Games 2022 behind Nils van der Poel from Sweden great racer with took the win in the Olympics the 5000 and the 10,000 meters Time to beat is 623.84 from Helger Engebraten. But both of them. A very fast start here. 29.7 for Daddy Giotto. Already 1.5 second lead over Helger Engebraten. Better Cruz. A little bit of an easier start for him. But still very close to Giotto. We'll try to manage that gap. Hope that it get too large. As it is a very easy corner here from Roost. Let Gilter cross over. So he can get behind him. With a little bit of less air resistance. Thirty point four Giotto, thirty point nine Petr Cruz. Now they're losing a little bit of time to our leader at the moment, Helge Engebraten. What a very consistent race. 
all lap times between 30 and 30.5 only the last two lap times 30.7 31.1 Davide Gierto now around those lap times of Alge Engebrat and Petro Goose also get back to the low 30 lap times. Still everything possible for the 30 year old Italian 20 year old Dutchman. Petro Goose just missed it out on the 1500 meters last weekend and also this weekend. Both four places see so again a little bit of faster lap time here from Patrick who's still both of them close together it was indeed the Italian who took the win last weekend on the 10,000 meters World Cup in Stavanger great race was that from him very hard conditions Petro Goost tried to keep up till the last three laps where he went a little bit too hard in the beginning and ended up in the eighth place about 10,000 meters now we see the increase in speed from Petro Goost moves along the Italian skater this is what he does the best Patrick Ruth, 28.9.85. A big increase in speed, 30.5 on David Giotto. Can he respond to Patrick Ruth? Or is it too early for Patrick Ruth? Let's see if he can hold this up. Already alongside the Italian here. Great pace from Patrick Ruth. Giotto can't respond at the moment. We go to the last three laps. In the seventh pair, 5,000 meters, 39.3 from Patrick Woost. What a race from him. 30.59, David Giotto can't respond just yet. 1.3 second lead over a current race leader, Engebraten. Again, great race from the Dutchman. He's very disappointed after his last weekend performance. 29.1, even faster than his last lap. 2.6 seconds lead. Indicated by his coach, 3 seconds below his scheduled time. Giotto now really has a difficult time as they go to the last lap. The last lap in the seventh pair, 5,000 meters for the men. Patrick Roots. Much better performance than last weekend. 29.1 again for Patrick Roost. Four second lead over Engelbrotten. And Giotto 30.95. Also good lap times, but it is Patrick Roost. Who gets all his energy out on his way to the finish line. And on his way to the first position for the moment. Patrick Roost. 29.5 is lap times 618.02. That will be the time to beat for the last two skaters. And Giotto in third. Just misses out on the time of Engebraten. So it is Hoost in first, Engebraten in second. And Giotto in third at the moment. Great race from Patrick Roost. Much better than last weekend. We'll then continue with the eighth pair and also the last two skaters on the ice. This 5,000 meters for the man. It's so easy. These 5,000 meters of Patrick Roos, but it is so hard. Especially those last laps when your legs are burning. Keeping comfortable on those skates. A 
last two skaters on the ice for this 5,000 meters means that Petra Cruz definitely will have a medal. To will if Owen come to Poland to win this 5,000 meters. Let's see if that's gonna happen with these last two skaters where Lunda Pedersen started in the inner lane. Tetjan Blume in the outer lane. Two great skaters here on the ice. Where Lunde Pedersen, 21, 20, 31 one year old Norwegian skater. Seventh on the World Championships last year. Best result this year, fifth. 5,000 meter in both the first World Cup and the second World Cup. Against the 37 year old Ted Jan Blume. He came second in the 10,000 meter last weekend in Stavanger. He was actually third in the 10,000 meter during the last year's World Championships. Has stated in the media that he wanted to go for the below 6.00 time at the end of this weird year during the World Championships. But first, we have this fourth World Cup. Actually, the last individual distance on this fourth World Cup here in the Ladowa Arena with Thomas van Majewicki in Poland. Tetjan Blume leading before Norwegian Petersen. The 149.595 tenths behind Patrick Roost at the moment. Sverlunde Petersen, 30.4 lap time from him. It is still early in the race, everything can happen. Thirty point four for Blumen, thirty point five for Pedersen, both still around the intermediate time of Patrick Roost. Blumen in the slipstream of Pedersen. Relaxing a little bit on that exchange. Now there's a little bit of a gap there to Pedersen, thirty point four nine lap time for Blumen. Almost exactly on the intermediate time of Patrick Roost. But now it was Patrick Roost who increased speed. Even continued to lap times way below the 30 seconds. Let's see if Tetjan Blume can copy that tactic of Patrick Roost as we are at the halfway point. Of this last 5,000 meters, six laps to go. Tetjan Blum 30.85. He loses four tenths of a second to Patrick Roos there. Peterson almost the same lap times. They have to increase the speed if they want to compete for that number one spot. Thirty point seven uh, from Tetjan Blume. Increase his speed a little bit, but now is one second behind on Patrick Roost. We have to look to the lap times of Elke Engebaten. Second position for him for now. Here's Tetjan Blume. On schedule to get that second position. Four laps to go, 31.0, two seconds behind Patrick Kutz, it gets very difficult now because Patrick Kutz from now on only put on the low 29 second lap times, let's see if Blume can do that as well, 
but also Engelbrater 30.5, 30.4 and 30.7 the last few laps of his 5000 meter 30.9 loses a little bit over Engelbrater but not that much L Peterson also close 30.97 from him to go towards the two last two laps this final 5000 meters for the man Thirty point nine seven Tetchan Blume the five twenty four now is behind on schedule of Engerbraten. See if they can increase their speed in this last lap. Still looks very good for both Blumen and Peterson. Steer the bell, the bell for the last lap. 30.6 Tetje Blumen, that's not enough. Fourth intermediate time at the moment for him. Luke Peterson in fifth. Put everything out here on the ice in that last lap. Can they get to the time of Giotto? Giotto, the time 624.66. Can they beat that time for the number three position? Let's see if Blumen can beat that. It is. 626.25 fourth position for Blumen and 627.24 Peterson in fifth so it is Patrick Roost who wins his 5000 meter with a big advantage over Elga Engebraten from Norway 5.8 seconds between them and in third we'll see Giotto from Italy Blumen and Peterson in that last race couldn't reach the first three times. Peterson looking to his right on the exchange. We have the final results right here. Here they are, the unofficial results, men 5,000 meters, Petr Kroost in first, Engerbatten in second and Giotto in third. Kroost reclaims his number one spot after his difficult 10,000 meters last weekend in Stavanger, Norway. Blumen in fourth, Peterson in fifth. Unofficial. We have to see what the referee will think of the action of Marvin Talsma on that exchange with Tsuchiya. Great racing here in the Ladoa Arena. We saw a whole weekend. We now resurface the ice. Well, we here see the World Cup standings. Giotto still leading, but followed by two points. Patrick Roost in second, Blumen in third, and about in fourth. Close battle still for the number one spot in the World Cup 5,000 meters. And as said, we'll now resurface the ice. We'll continue. The last race of this weekend, the mass start women division A. We will begin at 70.21, so in about 50 minutes we will see you back for the last competition here on the ice in Ladoa Arena. Thomas Mozik in Poland. The mass start women division A.
Tak też myślałem. Bardzo dobrze, moi drodzy. Przed nami jeszcze został ostatni bieg, ostatnia konkurencja. Natomiast e, widzę, że atmosfera jak najbardziej jest gorąca. Kochani, zróbcie trochę miejsca e, dla naszej maskotki. Poza tym wielkie brawa dla naszej maskotki, moi drodzy. Wielkie brawa. No tego się nie spodziewałem. <śmiech> świetnie, świetnie. Dobrze, kochani. The prize giving ceremony for 5,000 meter men. The prize and medals will be presented by the ISU representative, Mr. Tron Espelli, and the president of Polish Speed Skating Federation, Mr. Rafał Tataru. The third place and bronze medal goes to representative of Italy, Davide Giotto. The first place and golden medal, represented of the Netherlands, Patrick Ross. Cross, Helgeir Engebraten and Davide Giotto. Congratulations.
Welcome back. So in a few moments we'll start. The women must start the last event of this weekend in this ISO World Cup speed skating. Fourth ISO World Cup speed skating. Here we see the starting list of this women. Must start Valerie Mate in first. Starting for that first position. Followed by 19 other skaters. Star positions are ranked based on the World Cup standings. So that means that Valerie Mattel is also leading the World Cup at the moment. Mia Killewilk Manginello in second. Ivani Blonden in third. Those are the three leaders of the World Cup standings. You'll see Valerie Mattel from Canada with the yellow helm cap number one on her helmet. All the others also wearing the numbers of their World Cup standing. With cap number one, Valerie Malte, Canada. Number two, representative of USA. Follow me, Malte, in first. Became second, third World Cup of the season. Yael Kilibu Manginella, second World Cup standings. Fourth on the World Championships last year. Even even below there, we just saw her from a thousand meters. Now also on this mass start, second at Olympic Games in 2022 here is Irene Schouten, the Olympic champion. Won last weekend with a very big lead. Sabrina Tas from Belgium, fifth last weekend. Magdalena Kisson next to her on the sixth starting position. Those are the first six skaters on the front line. There we see with the number 20 on her helmet, Francesca Lollobrigida is announced last, but it's number three from the Olympic Games in 2022. Also on the left. Duchess with the number 12 on her helmet, Marijke Groenewoud, the world champion on the mass start last year. So now beginning with the women mass start. We heard the start from Andre de Vries from the Netherlands. Means that we have started Valerie Matel leading this first lap. Here we go, that's the start shot, the means wheel. We have started with the women mass start. 15 laps to go. And now, the race has really started. We'll see some action early in the race of a few people most of the time. that try to take a big lead early in the race and manage that lead until the end. Of course, we also have few teams that will wait for those last few laps. All teams looking at each other. Number seven in the lead, Olga Pietrosa from Poland. Tas in second, Kusova in third. There we see on the outside with the yellow hell cap. It is Valerie Malte, the World Cup leader. From Germany, number one, uh, the number 13 there, Michelle Ulrich. Uh, this the two Italian skaters moving to the front. Lodovica and Lorenzato as we hear the bell, the bell for the first sprint lap. Lodovica leading, leading this race, increasing the pace for this intermediate sprint lap. The number 19, her teammate close behind Ulrich now trying to move 
to the front, tried to sneak a few points from Lollebrigena. Let's see here, it is Lollebrigena, Ulrich, and in third, I think it was Lorenzato from Italy. Let's see if they go on. No, they don't. Here we see it, Lollebrigena, three points, Ulrich, two, and Lorenzato, one point for that first intermediate sprint lap. Marijke Groenemaat now in the lead. You see a lot of pushes there between the different women. Kuzova now leading the race before Groenemaat too. Still all close together early in this women mass start. Haven't seen any action yet from the back. Only that first intermediate sprint lap. Irene Schouten behind Valerie Mattel, but after Irene Schouten it is Ivani Blondet. Lutjes. Between the two Canadian skaters. Still Lorenzato leading this race. Keep a consistent pace for her teammate Lollebrigia. Let's see what their tactic will be towards the end of this mass start. We hear the bell for the second sprint lap. Is the Belgian something that does on the outside trying to move to the front? But Lorenzata now, as she was leading this race, picks up the pace with Kuzova at the back. Will try to sneak another few points. Kuzova trying on the inside, but it is Lorenzato who takes the three points at the finish finish line and is the second place for Kuzova who will take two points and it is indeed Valerie Martel number one on her helmet who sneaks up one point Lorenzato now leading with four points before Lollebrigia Kuzova Urich and Malte but as you all probably know on the finish line you can receive 60 40 and 20 points so Still important to finish first three spots. Kuzova now leading. Still everything close together. Looks almost like a big team pursuit. Everything with their hand on the back. The skater in the front that is now the number seven. Olga Pitroska from Poland moving up. Increases speed. You see a pretty big group on the outside, increasing speed, trying to move away from the peloton. Pitoska in the lead, and it is five women together. A little bit of a gap there, but it is closed by... Kuzova. Number six leading this race. Magdalena Kison from Poland, followed by Urich. Already has two points, the German skater, as we hear the bell, the bell for the sprint lap for the women mass start, also number 10 in third place, Romana Adi from Switzerland. First three women will compete for those three, two and one points. In the back, Lorenzato in fourth position, Urich in second. But now here she comes from that third spot with the number 10 on her helmet, Romana Adi, trying to move to the third position and she manages it is Hardy who takes the three points Urich I think in second and Kison in third and here it is sprint lap 12 and we see the number 10 goes through with it Romana Adi three points for her she goes through looks behind her let's see if someone picks up it is Urich Kison in third and also Lorenzato four women close together but behind them it is the peloton speeding up trying to close that gap Lorenzato 
takes over the lead in this race. Keeps the pace high, but behind her it is Irene Schouter from the Netherlands, who closes the gap, but she's closely followed by Valerie Malte. Irene Schouten looking behind, looking for a pass, and it is Valerie Martel who increases her speed. Four women still leading this race, but there they come. The peloton, oh, and a little bit of a humble there from skater from the United States. Irene Stouder leading this race, Marijke Groenewa taking over. Also the Chinese skater, Jin Wenjing. Oh, and a fall from the number 11, Jin Wenjing. Try to move on the outside, and here we have the bell, the bell for the last lap. Marijke Groenewoud giving a lead out for Irene Schout. Irene Schout will now try to move on the outside, it is on the inside. Ivani Blonde trying to move beyond Marijke Groenewoud, and she does. Irene Schout, is she in front? Yes, she is to the last corner, a very tight corner here in Poland. It is Ivani Blonde on the inside. Irene Schout, can she manage to keep over that? First position, oh, a very close finish, but it is Irene Schouten who takes the win in this mass start. Very close battle there, the last 100 meters between Irene Schouten, Ivani Blondin, and also Mia Kilburg Manginello from the United States manages to finish in third. Irene explains this to her rival, Evenie Blondin. Very difficult last corner. And to the, to the outside a lot. On the end of the corner, Evenie Blondin could keep it on the inside. Had a, a little bit of a lead over Irene Schouten, but the last 100 meters of Irene Schouten was very good. She manages to get the win as we see here the finish also great effort there from Mia Kilburg Manginella from the United States almost finished before very close finish between the two it is in the end Ivani Blondin in second Mia Kilburg Manginella in third Marike Groenemout in fourth and the number 20 Francesca Laurel Bicina in fifth and that's also the final result the first five skaters in this race Valerie Motel in sixth Lorenzato in 7th, Ulrich in 8th, Heidi in 9th, Kruzova in 10th, and with only one point in 11th, it is Magdalena Kison from Poland. Great race by Irena Schouten. We'll see the official results here. Irena Schouten with 60 points for finishing first. It is a women mass start. Blondin in second, Kilibu Manginello in third. Usually plays 11 to 20, so Magdalena Kison with one point. After her skaters based on time. We also have here the World Cup standings. Mia Kilibu Manchinello with a third place moves to the lead. Valerie Malte in second. Ivani Blondin in third. Irene Schouten in fourth, but all still close together. As that concludes all races here, the Aizu World Cup Speed Skating, the fourth Aizu World Cup Speed Skating in the Lodowa Arena, in Tamasoy, Mozambique in Poland. I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you back at the European Championships or at the 5th World Cup in the new year in 2024. So from now, thank you everybody. And thank you everybody for watching.
The prize giving ceremony for Must Start Women. The prize and medals will be presented by the ISU representative, Mr. Tron Espeli, and the president of Polish Speed Skating Federation, Mr. Rafał Tatarów. The third place and bronze medal goes to representative of the USA, Mia Kilburg Manganello. The first place and gold medal goes to representative of the Netherlands, Irene Schouten. Ivani Blondel and Mia 
Kilburg Manganello. Congratulations.